It's all ogre for standard Hearthstone. Now that Boulder Fist ogre is a playable portrait for Warrior. The idea behind this deck is we're going to slam in as many ogre cards, such as the ogre gang, into a deck as humanly possible to overwhelm our opponent with a bunch of attack on our hero to use a Wind Fury weapon off of Ignis the Eternal Flame. We also will have the backup plan of the highlander package within etc in order to duplicate any battle cries that we play is this deck going to be good probably not however with the one stream that i did with it across the 15 games i ended up with a 73 percent win rate so who knows am i right <laughs> so for the molding guide of the deck you are going to be looking for Early game removal tools such as Blade Storm, draw power cards such as Stone Skin Armor, any of the excavating package. If we know our opponent is playing something with a bunch of minions that they'll be slamming down over the turn, so looking for a combination of Sanitize and Cobalt Miner is incredibly strong. Now, with that all being said, let's look at some games. Okay, time for a game against DK. Let's see what they have in store for us. After the balancing changes, I expect Rainbow DK and Plague DK to probably be an incredibly or way better of a deck than it already is. Honestly, this opener doesn't look that bad. We have a way to easily use armor or trigger armor on turn two, which is always great. Bladestorm is also good depending on which variant of DK that we're actually facing against. Just going to pass it back to our opponent. Also, uh, the very, very first game that I actually played with this deck, or at least the final version of the list. Uh, there were a few things I tested out against the bot in solo adventures, such as Black Rock and Roll. Uh, sadly, that does not retain the buffs on the Ogre Gang. We're just going to use our combo here. I really wish it did, but it actually probably helped the consistency of this deck by quite a bit because it allowed me to use some additional removal tools and like other things that allowed me to easily cut out some of the other engines that I had in the deck. So that really doesn't tell me if this is going to be Plague or Rainbow. Could still be either or. I know Rainbow does use that card. Given how slow they're playing, I would almost want to assume they're going to be Rainbow over... Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that that's a card that would make sense in Rainbow. And that definitely is a card in Rainbow compared to Plague. All right, so what do we want to do here? We could slam down the Ogre Gang just to get one online and hopefully they'll destroy it. The more we can get these ones destroyed before we slam down Pud, the better. That That is a weapon that is going to be a little bit frightening, especially for us, because we are a attack-based deck. We do want our hero to have as much attack as humanly possible. I'm just going to slam down this, draw in our card armor up a little bit. The nice thing about Rainbow is, while they do have the big explosion at the end of the game, they don't have that much burst damage compared to some of the other matchups that we could be facing. I know Demon Hunter technically has been nerfed, but... Uh, I don't know how much one mana is going to matter on one weapon. I honestly think, and originally today's video was supposed to be Naga Demon Hunter. I expect that deck to be way stronger than people are making it out to be. And you're probably not going to have to even run the demon package anymore because that deck did feel decent. I tested it a little bit without the demon package just to see if I could get the channel feel, but yeah. This deck hopefully will turn out as good, but I really just wanted to kind of clickbait the Boulder Fist Ogre portrait. I I'm not going to lie, like, th th that's the in entire inspiration of this card, or deck, is the fact that we have Boulder Fist Ogre. There was no way I was going to pass up on this portrait, <laughs> even though I just unlocked the 1000 win for Warrior. But I think this will probably be my default Warrior skin for a while now. It fits this perfectly, too. And I've been looking for an excuse to use Kingpin Pud again. Again, perfect excuse to do all these types of things. Like, I, I am so happy how my brain works sometimes. Good, 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 good. Get rid of that. And, and the greatest thing here is we can use Pud and then slam down Saloon and bounce him back because it is turn eight like i love that combo the reason why i went with saloon brewmasters instead of i don't know like a 
Fizzle or Zola combination is, a, well, A, Brewmasters are two mana compared to the three mana of both of those cards. But B, you end up just having a lot of really powerful battle cries that you might want to get a second copy of, such as ETC or even Badlands Brawler, who is also an ogre. Fun fact, there are more ogres in this deck than you might originally think. I, well, you know, while that hurts, I don't think that is going to hurt us as much as I it it probably should. We're going to slam it on Ignis. We're going to probably get a 10 cost weapon. Really wish we had to hit one fury, but that's still fine. Going to for the armor gain just in case they have actually enough damage. But like this matchup, they probably won't. We're going to slam this down just yeah, I, it, it's a waste. Don't get me wrong, but we'll, we'll still be fine. We're in actually a pretty good position, though. I will say, oh, <laughs> hell no. I, I, I don't want to see Helia right now. She is not really Helia when she's played against you. She is hell no. <laughs> OK, so we could slam down the weapon or do we have another? We do have another Excavate, so we can slam down. Cobalt Miner, slam down one of the Badlands Brawlers. We're feeling bad right about now. Wipe out the board, wiping out our board too, but that's still fine. The Ogre Gang shall rise up. I will say Boom Boss, I know, is in this list, but honestly, probably one of the weakest cards in the list. Just because of the fact that 90% of the time, you're probably not going to be using him to his full advantage, but you know, like... If you can get a perfect game with him, and hopefully we can showcase that in some other games, then it would be perfect. Also, there's no denying this is Rainbow at this point. Mon Pot is a card that I haven't used on the channel yet, but I really do want to try to make a Mon Pot like go infinite HP deck, even if it is just like a, a YouTube short or something, right? We do need to get rid of Mon Pot because I don't want them to gain a bunch of HP, hopefully. Uh, and getting rid of it here. It also does prevent us from taking a bunch of damage from explosion at the end of the game. So. Alright. So we slam down our weapon next turn, probably, I'd assume. Oh, there's Boom Boss. <laughs> Talking about him, I guess. I think at this point we do technically have Bran online, but yeah, we're, we're going to go with the weapon first and then uh, we can't attack. So we're just going to leave this gives them two one ones, but that should be fine. And now all we got to do is slam down Ogre Gang next turn. We should have four riders in rotation. I do wish the weapon was one fury that that's the one thing that would make this even better than it already is. But yeah. Uh, also, I decided to go with like a blue model this time. I, I know I probably should have just done red because it would have fit the ogre theme, but you never know. All right, ogre gang, rise up. Entire board of minions. Okay, okay, okay. We hit two. Can, can we keep hitting the uh, or dodge? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh. <laughs> Ogre gang is king. It works, and I don't know why it works as well as it does, and someone's actually trying to play Demon Hunter. Okay, well, that's kind of a shock, but, you know, we even have more ogres in the form of Badlands Brawlers, right? Also nice to see you be able to stop by. But yeah, I, there there was no way I was not going to do something like this. This deck is like super on brand for not. <laughs> Gives me excuse to use a uh, the ogre gang again. I'm amazed actually. Badlands Brawler does not count as a ogre for ogre gang. I know it doesn't read ogre gang on the card, but I am still kind of amazed that isn't the case. Perfect. Yeah, thanks. I, I do I do try my best to come up with some really 
fun, creative ideas when it comes to deck. Uh, Friday is going to be less fun or like fun and creative and more like competitive, but they're actually just play. Okay, well, I thought we were done with this card. I thought I would never see that card ever again, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, huh. It doesn't really matter. Like, I, it, it isn't that good of card. Also, this is so perfect right now. Also, Boom Boss probably is a really bad card for this deck. But it's an ogre, right? <laughs> if it's an ogre, it's probably in this list. That That's the entire plot of the, the list is, can we play more ogres that don't, like, clog up everything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Boom Boss is great. The one... The, the very big copium play for this deck would be we draw us through so much of our deck that we have ETC give us Bran, and then we slam down Boom Boss, and then we just take our opponent's deck away from them. That's like the big copium. It will probably never come up. I will freely admit it probably is something that will never happen, but if it happens once, I, I <laughs> I'm already happy with how the deck is performing. And the, the replays and such I have of it. Now it's just a numbers game of like getting more done, right? I am a little bit sad I couldn't fit the original Ogre Gang. Yeah. So I've played three games with this deck and all three of them we've won. So, you know, uh, even even in wins, we, we are winning right now. It is kind of amazing. <laughs> So, we could use both blade storms to get rid of this. We could just armor up too. I think we might just armor up and then uh, use Badland Brawler. I'm... Oh yeah, no, there's no... Okay, so if this hits the 50-50... I was really hoping it would hit the 50-50, but that still works. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, like, it's a small sample size, but it's a fun game or deck. I, I'm legitimately, like, hyped up. I, I was... I don't know if you could tell, but, like, last week when I was playing duels, the first duel stream was fun. And then the second one was all right. And then the third one, I was like, I am getting sick and tired of playing duels right now. And it wasn't really me getting tired of playing the game mode. It was mainly me getting tired of not using my own decks, right? I wish we could hit that, but we can't. So... I'm actually curious of what Badlands Brawler does uh, versus like a a dormant minion. Oh, they use both Window Shopper, so we don't even have to worry about Magtheridon. Unless they're hard running Magtheridon. I mean, they could be. I'd be amazed if they are, but they, they definitely could be. Okay, Badlands Brawler. But yeah, it's nice. Also, I'm no longer stressing out about hitting Legend, which should have not took me... <laughs> all of last week it should have been an easy thing to do so like there there's a bunch of reasons why like i'm a lot more excited for this stream than i was like last stream i'd be amazed if they're actually running mechtheridon if they're running the vert because remember how i made the mechtheridon uh demon hunter list like week one i called it mechtheridon and then everyone just called it shopper instead i i, I forgot to add the shopper uh demon hunter in the tags but like i did i did we're, we're sitting at trash tier uh, legend right now i'm not like really worried about it at this point also we only have one more duplicate in the deck so our meme our dream that is a meme might not actually be a meme it isn't a meme anymore holy shit that actually is the last duplicate now the question is, do I bounce this back so we can get Reno? Yeah, actually, yes, we're going to do that because that that's just funny. <laughs> just it, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we we <laughs> we play. It would be so funny to me if this. Oh God, we're gonna burn Pud, aren't we? Oh no, we have. Oh no, we will burn Pud. I know my luck with having ten cards in hand.
How do we do this? How do we clear out this board? Okay, we did not burn Pud, which is good. We Again, we could use this. I, I think that loses us the game this turn, though. But I could also see them just giving up now, too. That's the problem that I've always had with the stereotypical list of Shopper Demon Hunter. It feels like you run out of oomph really, really quickly. Because once you're out of the shoppers, you're you're kind of screwed. Okay, so I think the game plan here is Bladestorm, Bran, and then hope and pray they don't they're not playing a big Naga package. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, like Pud double battle cry off of that could be fun too. But a boom boss is what we really, really want to use it on. As long as they don't get rid of this, we're good. Is this really better than nothing? Yeah, just, just leave this alive so we can draw and do some cards, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, come on. I wanted that. I don't need it, but I wanted it. Okay, maybe we do do Pud next turn. Oh no, we haven't put it down that many ogres. Oh, well, we can survive another turn. I think we could bounce this back just to get it off of the board. We could also bounce this back to get it off of the board. We know that's a case. Yeah, let's let's bounce this back just so we don't take the three damage. Because it will have to hit here or here. Both red cards, wow. We are actually kind of getting dangerously low. Uh, okay, that hits there. Alright, game. For chits and giggles, give us all the bombs, please. Nuke their deck. Come on, just keep on doing it. <laughs> just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we draw through five of them back to back? Oh god. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna choose a five cost weapon. And then we're gonna choose a ten cost weapon. Five costs. Uh, we might be actually still dangerously low. So they have another salesman in deck, uh, spirit, and that's it. Okay, so we're good. I think. <laughs> that was such a. Uh... Dumb way to win, but you know, the meme was not a dream, I guess. <laughs> oh man, honestly, opener not bad, but yeah, I am actually kind of amazed of like how consistent this is feeling. I know I'm like in dumpster tier legend, but like it is kind of a shock that it's working as well as it has. Because these are essentially two additional copies of each of the ogres that, besides Pud, right? Because they're your only rush minions in the entire list. Like, originally, I, I did have a bigger excavating package. But, again, I needed space, and the first thing to go was the five drops for the excavating package. Which actually was probably a really good decision. See, sometimes in my brain it turns with really dumb deck ideas and I, I cease to, like I always amaze myself at uh, when it happens. The Clown Paladin list is another example of that. I My brain was on something that day. I, I don't know what it was on, but it was on something. And honestly, now that I'm looking at the card, or the the decks that we've uploaded on the channel, that Paladin list was the first one that wasn't part of my initial like 11 deck theory crafts or a variation of one of the 11 deck theory crafts that I had. And this will be number two, I guess, right? 
right, this is a matchup where I am a little bit scared because they will be able to slam down a lot of a lot of big minions really, really quickly. But I don't want. Okay, wait. We've only excavated once. This is going to look bad. We're going to use one of these. Bounce this. Because we have Bad Light and Brawler in hand, and this could actually make us survive a turn. We aren't going to use the coin this turn. I like. If we use it, then we slam down an Ogre Gang, which gets rid of this minion. No, we're going to. Be smart about it. I am so tempted to bounce this back to the hand and then they'll... You know what? This is going to look bad, but I'm going to do it. The reason why we're doing it like this is if we bounce it back to their hand, hopefully they'll slam it down and then slam down all their 8-8s eight on the same turn and then we just use Badlands Brawler, right? Yeah, so I actually went against a Ogre Pally that was doing something with the uh, Spirit of the Badlands. And... Yeah, that, that's actually kind of where I got the inspiration of Clown Paladin in the first place was I saw that and I was like, oh, that's a neat idea. Like, we could do something with it, right? We created a temporal anomaly. I was really hoping they would slam down the Gaslight. Maybe they still will. Well, I, I mean, this still wipes out, like, a good chunk of their win strategy. Again, I was really, really hoping... And then we just go face, and then we slam down Brawler. Oh no, look at it! We, we ha we're we facing- oh no, what are we ever gonna do? Oh, we go face. We got the second coin in hand. Bye bye I wish we did have a way to bounce this back on the same turn, though. Probably armor up next turn. Oh, Arth. Alright, so- yeah, we... How many cards is this going to draw? Horse plating. Not terrible. But I don't want to burn a card, so we'll just armor up. That honestly probably is like the worst of all the epic treasures that you get off of excavating. But yeah, I think... Speaking of Spirit of the Badlands, I think that card has a very high potential to be broken by the time it rotates out. If that makes any sense. We could use the second Badlands Brawler. That does clear out the board. We could just use this, actually. Oh no, cat trick. I'm amazed that they didn't slam down the... Interesting. Oh! I'm shocked that they didn't slam down the... Summon a bunch of wolves on that turn. What are you drawing or trying to draw into? There you go. Well, we don't... Okay, we... Hmm, there... This draws a spell. Doesn't necessarily have to be a fire spell. It'd be funny if it is sanitized. <laughs> I was gonna say, we could, like... Uh, okay, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So, I played 15 games with the deck and ended up with a 73% win rate, which was much higher than I had originally expected. I expected this deck to be a complete a meme. However, the deck actually held up pretty well against most of the meta-relevant decks. There are a few decks that this deck kind of suffered against, just because it is a slower matchup, where Highlander Warrior is probably the better Warrior deck out of the two. Mainly because Boom Boss is a card that is incredibly hard to counter within this deck, as it can easily wipe out your entire Ogre Gang before you can get it online. Outside of this though, this deck felt so strong that it's an easy recommendation for you all to try out, especially if you just 
bought the new Boulder Fist Ogre portrait since it does feel incredibly strong and has a very consistent way to draw into all of the cards that you would need to. I will say though, ETC might be a little bit of a meme, but I had a lot of fun with it either way, which is why it's going to stay in the deck, even though that Odin never came up. You could probably easily replace him with something like Yogg Saron to make this more of a tendril package too. But like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.